the game two between machine and love snow this is now going to be on metaverse we have machine starting in the bottom right hand corner is the gray zerg bottom left hand corner we have love snow starting as the yellow turn and this is bsl season 14 round of eight match two between these two guys and game one love showing honestly what i thought was a very powerful very creative build with the proxy factory and the vulture i didn't know how machine is going to respond but as a shout out to jeff b83 out in chat pointed out there was that moment where the drones were sitting on the high ground and the vulture was just getting misfire after misfire and it does beg the question if those misfires had not been quite so unfavorable for love would it have resulted in a different outcome somewhere out in the multiverse love won that first match one could argue Love starting to... This is a... One thing with Metaverse is this is a big natural expansion. So what I've seen Terran try to do to mitigate it oftentimes is like build stuff alongside their command center. Love almost looking like he wants to try to go for a full seal on the front, which is going to be challenging, uh, particularly going kind of from that left-hand side. It's actually something that... I should delve more into actually thinking about like the spawn location versus how you actually have to box in and where it's easier and where it's harder for Terran. I feel like being at the kind of the leftmost side, it makes it a little bit more challenging to get really good seals because of the mechanics of not being on the right or the left or the... Anyway, looks like we're seeing another 12 hatch. Loves now, looks like he's moving to go ahead and get first scout. Machine going to get first scout as well. And that drone might actually be able to get a decent amount of disruption done at the main. It looks like Machine's already plopped down that spawning pool and has got that extractor almost precisely at the 205 mark. So that's indicating, and it looks like the SCV going to be able to wander in, in fact, confirm that timing for the morph stage. So it looks like he's moving more towards that 3-hatch three, three style. The drone, ooh, getting a little bit... Getting a little bit of damage there. Spicy attacks early. So yeah, Love gonna go for kind of the vertical seal, but I do believe Supply Depot on top of Supply Depot, Zerglings can walk right through. I don't know if Machine's gonna try to ca capitalize on that at all. Command Center being built behind this. Pause in Marine production towards that effort. SCV wandering up into the natural expansion. Spawning pool finished. We'll see how many Zerglings get produced. So it looks like we're seeing at least four. Are we going to see six? We are going to see initial six Zerglings. And Lair mutating as well. Second barracks in the main. No gas as of yet. I'm wondering if Love is going to go for... Kind of that standard two racks... Style of play. It looks like he's grabbing that refinery now. We'll have to see what he's up to down the line. One Zergling dedicated to attacking on that SCV. The SCV going to be able to confirm a move towards Lair. And I think Machine's just going to be like, yeah, I'm showing you everything, and I'm just going to go about my build order and still win because of my mechanics, potentially. SCV trying to blockade the top. Marines alongside, and this is such a wide wall to try to deal with. Machine poking up towards it. I feel like there's a lot of gaps that are potentially shootable. Instead, he's just going to go ahead and group up the Zerglings. The SCV's taken a significant, uh, significant amount of damage. Two hits away from death. He's going to confirm the layer timing. Three SCV going to be able to move into gas. We'll see if Love... Yeah, so he's going to go, looks like Academy. Before Engineering Bay, as, for, as far as his decided build order. Wondering if he's going to tack it up to the... I'm just going to stick on the two barracks currently. And so just kind of playing safe and standard. And then going safe and standard versus machine. Again, tall order to pull out a, a W with. That That's really what he wants to see, I think, in most instances. Zerglings grouped along the front. I think Love also, I think the secondary problem, though, is just having to deal with such a wide front door. Plenty of Marines there. I think that's actually the other aspect is, is because it's such a wide open natural expansion it really does punish Terran thinking about going for that engineering bay first build 
Initial medics being produced, preventative. Actually, cancellation of the creep colony on the front. Doesn't feel like he needs it. Spire, just about finished. No movement towards a... Sorry, take it back. Third hatchery in the upper right. Marines starting to move out. Now the creep colony being dropped. And everything kind of going textbook TVZ at this stage. Love spreading is just trying to run back across. Machine looking for a counterattack situation, but fire bats are there. Usually the fire bats also indicate a bust attempt, but here they're just on the defense because of that wide open natural. Some Zerglings able to get towards this, get a little bit of free damage, but not able to get a Marine kill, it looks like. Only a single Sutton Colony defense here. Machine really playing this risky. Mulus diving on top of it. The Zerglings now join in the fray. And it looks like maybe that's all he needed. Great call on Machine's part to say, yeah, I only need a, sing a single Sutton Colony to defend against all of this. Now it's only two Fire Bats and two Marines to try to defend a very wide natural expansion on the front. Turrets starting to be placed, but this is going to give a jump and a skip for Machine to go ahead and saturate that upper right-hand corner and get a third base. And it looks like he's going to be able to get on top of the Fire Bats. Well, one Fire Bat taken out. A little bit more micro, and that might have been a natural expansion breach. Instead, turret going to get established. I think worth the risk there. Not going to hurt machine all that much, though, because he's still got that third base. He's still got a lot of map control. This is a huge map. So walking up to that cross position expansion would be a tall order. Plus, there's an overlord to go ahead and spot troops should they decide to move across the map. So love boxed in, putting down a huge amount of turrets. Might be too many turrets, to be honest. So we got... How many is this? That's So that's six in the main. Four at the net. So that's ten turrets. Because of that early cost. So he's going to have to definitely shell up. And Machine's already got his third gas there. Should have it producing in not too long. Queen's Nest already being dropped. He might be able to skip Lurker Tech if he wants to. It looks like he is morphing it. Love lifting off and going to go ahead and back that barracks out as he's moving up to that four count. Marines and medics moving out. One Marine being picked off right there. Let's see if... I'm kind of curious if he went for... Yeah, he is going to go for the Carapace upgrade. But this is exactly what Machine wants, is just have these Mutalists out here. Keep Love back. Make sure he's not pressing any territory. Make sure he's not threatening. Get that third gas up. Wait for Lurkers. Once Lurkers are in place, go ahead and tech the Hive. And then once you have that late game Hive tech, just play the game from there. Oop. Bit of Mist Micro right there. Critically though, Love does not have, he does have Stim, he does have range, but he doesn't have plus one weapons. In fact, yeah, it's gonna be a minute before plus one weapons is in place, which means these Mutalisks, and actually I think Machine might end up with Carapace I'm not sure what the turn rate was here, but I'm almost wondering if uh, Machine taking a little bit of damage because of the lag. Also, in the space in between, Evolution Chamber drop, we have some initial Hyperlists to become Lurkers down the line. Medic picked off. Turret exposed. Plenty more turrets where that came from, though. But Love, despite having all the turrets, is not turning this into a situation where he's able to press into Machine. Double Starport behind this to try to get some initial science vessels out. Lurkers already planting themselves at the natural expansion. Hive tech almost already finished and machine just peeling way ahead, almost even on workers. Love now starting to move around the map, but he's got a lurker field here with plenty of support. He's got to walk his way up a ramp to the north, and there's already a Hydralis there to go ahead and delay, potentially do an instant morph and delay. The Mutalisks spotting position of these Marines and actually able to almost able to pick off a Medic. Another Mutalisk gets, gets taken out in the fray, but Machine is well defended. He's got a Nidus Canal that's going to be able to connect his northern and southern bases. 
His economy is absolutely rolling. Defiler Mound almost finished. And this is before Love is even encroaching on that natural expansion. Dropships being produced. Science facilities not even in place. And this is a very risky play. So going to try to go for dropships to ferry some medic marine troops either into Machine's main or into the upper right-hand corner. But Mutalisks are still in the air. Unless they get wiped out right here. So he's got to really cloak that attack. Hope that it doesn't get spotted. Hope that it doesn't get defended very well. And also worry about Mutalisks that... Oof. Well, unfortunately, well, Machine going to spot these dropships now. And it looks like he's going to wipe them out before they're even loaded. But he... So, losing the Mutalisks, which might have been helpful in that defense. We're losing a lot of them. Looks like they are going to... Four of them are going to exit. But now the dropships realize they've been spotted. It's almost like a panic. It looks like they're making a dive for the upper right-hand corner. Consume is finished. So once the Defiler's at any of these locations, I don't know that Love is going to be able to get any sort of damage done. Ultralis Cavern planting down as well. Machine feeling very, very comfortable. A couple Scourge have been produced. But it is a matter of hunting the dropship down. Medic Marine streaming to the upper right-hand corner. Defiler's already in place in the upper right with some Zerglings. And I don't know that Love's going to be able to... Okay, it looks like he's going to try to ferry... To the upper right. Dropships have been spotted. Zerglings are there. Scourge. Able to take out one dropship as well. Not sure that it was fully unloaded. The Zerglings mostly on top of the Medic Marines. But they're kind of coming in piecemeal. A single Lurker. Trying to buy support. It gets wiped out. And Overlord. Yeah, and I don't know that this is doing sufficient damage to Machine's economy. To really make it worthwhile to not have those science vessels. The Mutalist moving up, picking off that dropship, so now that is going to be all of Love's defense. So Love trying to make his way through. Three Marines left. There is a something colony, two something colonies already. So now those medics just going to have to die. And now you have the rest of the medic marine army sitting at the southern ramp. They don't know whether there, and there are two lurkers here. Also with an overlord overhead, so they can't just get straight irradiated. First science vessels are out. Love with a 10th supply lead, but I'm not sure how long that's going to last because Ultralisk Cavern is here. Machine has got three gas to work with it. He's got plenty of Scourge. Marine's got double, maybe even... Tr He's got triple evolution chamber, double evolution chamber. Looks like an Overlord that was misrallied is going to get wiped out. Small victories. That puts Machine in the red, but also a plague on the low ground. Don't know the machine's going to get a lot out of this. And, ooh, actually going to be greedy here. Try to take that natural expansion. There's a huge amount of troops are making their way into that upper right -hand corner. That should force a cancellation. Never mind. Maybe it's just going to be two lurker defense with the filers underneath. More plague dropping. A lot of science vessels here, but... So it looks like everything getting irradiated. But Machine very bravely, very confidently taking this base. And this is one of those situations where he'd be like, I don't know about this. Some Ultralists are in production, so it's just a matter of time. It looks like Ultralists are already here. Before there will be sufficient defense. Let's see if... Yeah, they are going to be able to get here. They're going to be able to get down... Or Ultralists even... Okay, they do fit down the ramp. They almost look like they should. Ultralists now moving in right as... The Marines were sitting on that natural expansion. Is four Ultralists enough to get through all of this? Looks like the answer is yes. An irradiate being dropped, but it doesn't matter. So machine able to establish yet another expansion. Some science vessels getting taken out as well. And this, this is where if I was love, I might opt the GG. He's going to try to float out a command center to grab his third. But machine now with late game tech, it's going to be moments before ultra speed is there. Level four carapace is not that far away. He's got the natural expansion in the upper right -hand corner up. Love knows he needs to shut that down, so he's trying to move everything up. Not able to get in position to save his science vessels, though. That is huge. So much gas loss there.
Medic Marines getting plagued before they're even... So they walk all this way and for their effort... End up get, eating a lot of plague, which is really going to soften them up. I don't even know that an Ultralis needs to be here to defend this. Nidus Canal being dropped on the low ground. Yeah, you can just hear Marine death after Marine death in rapid succession. Love at least able to get his third up. So small mercies, but his science vessel count has remained low. Machine only able to land a single Scourge there. Machine hasn't quite transitioned into full macro mode. At the very least, there's been enough science vessels and irradiate to keep the Ultralis count for just growing out of control. But Ultralis with the irradiate able to get on top of this marine ball. Doesn't look like there are even medics to support right now. And love without a latent army. In just a moment, Machine should be able to get on the offensive if he wants to. Sitting on four bases, starting to saturate that fourth base. Three bases up for love. Level 2 weapons, level 1 armor versus level 2 weapons, level 1 melee. Level 4 carapace there for the Ultralisks, which means upgrade advantage is in Machine's favor. And now Machine, this is usually the point where you start seeing Zerg get aggressive, instead holding up a little bit short. See if he starts smackering behind this. A bunch of fire bats to deal with that Dark Swarm. Actually, no medics. This is like StarCraft 1 unit composition here. Three medics in that backfield. Love. Trying to group up some troops. And now Machine's starting to take the field. Love swarming towards the left-hand side of the map. If this is going to be a victory for him, it needs to come... in sort of a longer, macro-oriented style of play. And now, well, able to squash that at the very least. A lot of plague dropped, but not much of an army there for Machine. And it was the full brunt of Love's Medic Marine Ball. Able to clear that out. Two Marines planted just to delay what would be a fifth base for Machine. But Machine, at least for Love, he's able to thin out the Ultralisks there. Two lurkers to the north to defend. I don't see... I actually might be able to finally breach upper left. Lurkers being irradiated. More ultralists. These marines are very soft from the earlier engagement. Both lurkers taken out. Irradiate dropped on the ultralists, but this is as they're going to be able to get right on top of the marine army and a slew of scourge from nowhere flying in and obliterating the science vessel force. Ultralis walking in from the south. The last science vessel near getting wiped out, so Love eating damages upon damages. That was a lot of gas to lose. And Machine's like, okay, let's play the cost efficiency game. And it looks like he's going to end up being the victor in that category. Some Zerglings swing to the north. Yeah, Machine just happy to sit and repel these attacks, take out all the science vessels out in the air, wipe out all of the medic marine forces that Love is fielding. A battle cruiser being produced from Love. To maybe try to force out some gas from Machine, but Machine just rolling. The Ultralis don't like what they see, so they're going to back out a moment. There is a Defiler here. The Defiler's been irradiated. Let's see if it... Looks like it is able to drop a swarm before it's wiped out, and a plague, but catching one of it, one of their own Ultralists in that plague. Come on, Ultralists, wake up. There we go. Looks like another Medic Marine. This just seems to be the story of the game, is a big march to the upper right to certain doom. Machine now grabbing that inside 3 o'clock location. To get yet another gas, more creep colony, he's just happy to shell up. He's like, okay, love, you gotta expend all of your economy to make this work. His mains mined out, his natural expansion is still functional. Two base versus what will soon be five base Zerg, which is not a winning combination. Three science vessels on the exterior corner. Machine diving forward with Zerglings and Ultralisks. 
More science vessels getting wiped out. Some additional radiates being dropped. The battle cruiser able to get here to help with the zerglings at the very least. But one battle cruiser does not an army make. And love continuing to just send troops up here to the upper right hand corner just to die. Battle cruiser doing its favorite field game, which is uh, skeet shooting zerglings. So at least the battle cruiser is going to have a happy day. Got to appreciate that. Additional creek colonies, more defilers in the upper right. Love needs to make something happen. Currently. Not in a comfortable position really to threaten any of these bases, but on top of that, not in a comfortable, comfortable enough position to grab an additional base. Losing more troops in the middle of the map. Looks like he's going to back up and regroup. He does have to start worrying. Like, honestly, a swarm here, that base would be gone. Plague on the battle cruiser. Some Hydralists walking out to go ahead and engage it. With the Dark Swarm underneath, that is going to negate that battle cruiser's ability to get anything accomplished. The Science Vessel is trying to return to home base. And now Machine starting to press forward a bit with his Ultralists and Zerglings. Love in a more defensive spot trying to compsat and find the location of Machine's army. Looks like he is going to be able to wander up and irradiate some of these Ultralists in open field. So at least able to soften them up. Three clock base starting to get saturated. So that's going to put Machine at a... So his main's looking just about out. But that's going to be four bases versus two. I'm going to say one and a half actually. Because this base is not long for life. So Machine in very cost effective exchanges. Up a lot of supply. Starting to filter his army out. Level 3 carapace, which means those ultralists are going to be even beefier. Level 3 weapons is at least online for love. But he has not been successful in any of his attacks. Love positioning on the plateau, not even firing as he's trying to retreat. Huge amounts of ultralists, zerglings, hydralists engaging. But Love does need to hold here because this is just outside his third, which is soon to be his only mining base. Machine pile driving in a wall of flesh with Dark Swarm overhead. The natural, the plateau for the natural expansion now breached. And Hydralis and Ultralis pressing in. Zerglings diving on empty bunkers. Love's now GG's. Machine's going to go up 2-0 in this series. And honestly, yeah, just textbook top to bottom for Machine. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.